So far, there's no pictures of my eyes on the internet. I was um, completely ungoogleable a while ago. Um, and uh, the, the fewer pictures and the fewer data and fewer pieces of information that you can have out there about yourself, the better. Learn how to have anonymous communications with your source and make sure that your source is not in your contact book and that they don't put you in their contact book. All of the journalists today should now be using encryption. Um, if you haven't figured out how to do that yet, you should, and it shouldn't just be for your super secret communications. You need to be using it all the time. I think the other big one for journalists is, is a really easy one, which is just covering your interfacing camera. On your laptop is the main one that I've been seeing that reporters um, get. And it's really easy. You still want to take a selfie or have a Skype call. You just take it on and off. Um, but this is an attack we see happen quite a bit, and it usually leads to extortion and a good way to compel a reporter not to do a story. Hi, I'm Cory Doctorow, and uh, I write science fiction novels. I work for the Electronic Frontier Foundation. I uh, co-own a website called Boing Boing, and I write for The Guardian. We've just done a panel on protecting sources and privacy when you're reporting stories. I think the first thing to think about is um, planning ahead. So anticipating that at some point in the future, you may do something, you may have to become very private in the way that you conduct your daily affairs to protect a source. And that if you suddenly have a break in your pattern that says all of a sudden you've started using encryption in your email and you started turning off your phone and you started doing all kinds of things, that in itself, if the adversary that you're thinking about is like a government adversary, if you're dealing with the next Edward Snowden, those patterns themselves are very obvious. So you can fix that by adopting good password and privacy hygiene now.